Oh, yeah, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Beyonce has some skills, too. Um, well. I hear that she's an excellent singer. If you remember winging it yesterday, I almost gushed about her performance during the inauguration because I was so impressed that not only was it beautiful, yep. But that it was live. Turns out maybe a little Milly Vanilli ish. Oh. Turns out she may have actually been lip syncing. We're calling this Beyonce Gate. Now, if you believe the rumors, she may not have actually sang the national anthem live at the inaugural ball after all. That's right. According to an official with the U.S. Marine Corps Band who played along with the song, it was all on tape. Now, the Marine said it's standard procedure just in case anything goes wrong during the actual ceremony. The Marines are now backtracking from that original kind of accusation, if you will. If you can't decide for yourself, let's take another listen. Obviously, we know she's an amazing singer, yeah, a good absolutely. dancer, and all that. Maybe actor, too. Actress, Aww. I should say. I don't know. I, I can't really tell. I really can't. I Honestly, I can't seem to save my life, so who am I to judge? I couldn't do it at all. Uh, but there are people who have better insight than you and I. We have some experts joining us this morning. Janet Snyder and Nicholas Piccolis from Janet and Nick on KISS 98.5. You know, they've been talking about it all morning. They probably know more than you and I do yep, about this I topic. Hope so. A lot of folks are talking about it. So what do they think? Good morning, Diana good and Anthony. Morning. Good morning, guys. Good, good. Thank you, guys. So, this is just kind of weird. I think uh, a lot of people were just amazed by it. Twitter, Facebook, people are all talking about it. But I guess people are also feeling a little bit slighted by this now. Is it? You know, is it really something to be slighted by, though? I, when when you watched the inauguration on Monday, Beyonce was one of the last people to perform, and she was sitting outside in 30 degree temperatures. I I have no problem with that being a recorded performance just because of the circumstance of the climate and and having it be something that you have to do live and that's got a pretty big range to the Star Spangled Banner you know oh I couldn't do it but hey you know what is it Kelly Clarkson and James Taylor now they saying that they did perform live well James Taylor's song was a, a nice easy song to uh, sing true. Kelly Clarkson was amazing but she did sing earlier in the program, so it might have been that she was a little bit warmer at the time. I, I think it makes a that. difference. Yeah. What about a fear of messing up? I remember the Super Bowl a couple years ago, Christina Aguilera actually messed up the lyrics. Do you think that kind of weighs heavy on people's minds when they're asked to do a song like this, especially when millions and millions of people are watching at home? Uh, you, me, probably, Beyonce, <laughs> I don't think she's got so much experience with doing it live. I don't think that messing up is the issue with her. I would say it's probably just the voice quality, and if she knows she's got the good version pre-recorded, let's go with that. Uh, it's up to them to make the call at the last second, and apparently that's what she did was go with what was pre-recorded, and I'm fine with it. The funny thing you can see is almost when you're looking at that footage, the bigger the little puffy microphone sock thing, the, probably the bigger chance that that is pre-recorded because they're kind of hiding the lip syncing. Uh, they can hide behind that microphone. So that's always something to watch for when you see a live performance. How big is that microphone? I actually that's did notice that too. I noticed it was almost covering her whole mouth there. So, so is the jury out? Do we know for sure? I know there's rumors. What do we actually know? And, and the, the one other thing that, that is, uh, you know, I have to be noted is Beyonce's got a big week. She's in New Orleans now already rehearsing for the Super Bowl halftime yeah. show. Yeah. So I, I think she just didn't want to screw anything up. I think she wants to, to nail this week and have this be a big week for her. So I think that might have also been something else that she had on her mind. I think it's a fun story that people are excited that they caught her on this one. Beyonce's camp hasn't said anything at this time, but she didn't look thrilled yesterday. They'll send out a pre-recorded statement. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah, Right? Snyder, Nicholas Pickles, our friends at KISS 98.5, thank you guys for joining us this morning. Thanks, Don't forget guys. whether it's singers or girlfriends, fake is the new real. Oh, yeah, oh, right, okay. It's very true. Manti approves on that one, too. All right.